And then after that, what went into not calling a timeout? Yeah, 11 seconds on the clock. Uh, we have uh, shooters on the floor. Uh, a great opportunity uh, for them not to sub. Um, they kept Hero in the game. Uh, we tried to attack him and turn the corner. Uh, really good defense by Jimmy Butler. We got a shooter spotted up in the left corner. Royce is peeling at the top, and Cam Thomas is Oprah in the right corner. I don't think I'm going to be able to draw anything up better than that. Nick's in a dunker raid, the offensive rebound. So uh, the picture was pretty clear for us. Used those 11 seconds. Uh, good defense by them. Big picture. I mean, from the way you guys defended in yeah. the first half to the way you defended, I I'd say second half, but particularly third and fourth quarter. I mean, is that in your mind, big picture, where this got away more than, you know, the minutia of one play or two plays? Yeah, for sure, Brian. Time? I think um, if I could pinpoint it to one thing, you know, every time we didn't come away with a 50-50 ball, uh, we paid for it. Uh, for example, the one at the end, probably 40 seconds ago, there's a loose ball and Hero ends up shooting a three. Uh, but I thought over overall, you know, using our practice days pretty wisely, I think we scrambled for each other tonight uh, to, you know, keep this team under 100 points with overtime. Uh, shows our capability. Um, uh, but you give them credit uh, for continuing to uh, just play uh, with the way they responded in the third quarter was a big momentum shift for us. Uh, but we responded. Uh, so overall, some, some really good things, especially when you shoot 12 for 55 from three and have a one point game. Hope we don't go 12 for 55 again. Jacques, in the third quarter, when that 16 point lead started to evaporate, was there ever a thought to get maybe get Cam back in the game a little sooner? Cam uh, Thomas. Thomas. Uh, I knew I had uh, rode him for about 10 and 11 straight before that, um, and that I was going to probably go with him in the fourth. Uh, you know, it becomes interesting, CJ, with him not starting and given that first group, usually that's like a eight-minute stretch, seven-minute stretch, and then he finishes the, the first, and uh, well, a lot of times I'll let him run that entire second. Um, just managing those stints consecutively and with him not starting, it makes it difficult to play those dudes before him also that are starting and have him have a good stretch. Uh, but I knew the way the game was going that he was going to have a long stretch in the fourth.